Hi, my name's Jess. I love dogs. Especially rescue dogs! Which is why I'm taking a trip to Georgia to see the rescue process firsthand. It is my dream to one day buy a farm and invite all the stray and abandoned dogs to come live on the farm with me and I would take care of them. But until that time comes, I started fostering. I've had eight foster dogs. I like to take paw prints. Don't you have a crazy dog lady? Ellen Page, Tara Chambler, Carl Grimes, Mariah Carey, Sally Finkelstein. Then I got the eighth one. Her name was Emmy and I fell in love with her and adopted her. So now she's mine. That's her butt. Emmy is a year and a half old. Mwah! Oh, oh, I know. Emmy enjoys swimming and jumping and romping and playing and eating and sleeping. She's a happy girl. But her life wasn't always this easy. She was found roaming in Georgia, sick and alone. How did a dog roaming in Georgia end up in New York City? I wanted to find out. And Upworthy said, Go forth, find out how Emmy came to be. But more importantly, find out about other dogs like Emmy who are still roaming, stray, and sick. Step one, Georgia. You chewing the Georgia sign? So while you watch this charming video of Emmy eating a watermelon in slow motion, I'm gonna give you a quick recap. There's Badass Brooklyn Animal Rescue. They're all volunteer-based and they've rescued over 1,700 dogs. They often work closely with a rescue group in Vidalia, Georgia called SOAPS, Sweet Onion Animal Protection Society. SOAPS is actually the rescue group that saved Emmy. So I'm off to Georgia to meet these amazing people and learn more about what they do. You might hear people refer to a dog named Cammie. Her name is also Emmy. Packing list, my computer, that's Emmy's bed, all packed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>